What's up everybody, welcome to Ty's Times. Today we'll be making a video on my opinion for the best and worst set for each year in LEGO Star Wars. I would just like to say this app, the um, builder, the LEGO builder app, it's terrific and I love it. So, let's start off with the worst set of the very first year of LEGO Star Wars, 1999. So... In my opinion, the worst set of this year was the pit droid with 237 pieces, is now retired, and came out in 2000, which is weird because it says that it came out in 1999, but we'll go ahead and just, just ignore that, but yeah. Um... Let's see, does it say the set number? Pretty sure 8,000 is the set number. But yeah. Let's tell you the truth, there's not really much other to say about that. Now, the best set, in my opinion, for this year, that is super, super tough. It is either, whoa, 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 whoa there we go, the Gungan Patrol 7115, or... No, not the lightsaber duel. The SW Speeder Bike 7128. So I'm going to go ahead and just review both, just because. So the Speeder Bike has 90 pieces, came out in 1999, and is retired, and has three minifigures. Two OG Patrol Troopers, and then an OG Luke Skywalker. And then the build is just, ah, I should stay on it, sorry. Excuse me, it's just a little tree for Luke to hide at. And then some speeder bikes. So pretty lame build for now, but for the time, that was really good. And then the Gungan Patrol, Patrol. Even these days, this is probably a very wanted set because of the fact that everyone is trying to build a Gungan army and no one really has. But anywho, um... So, it is retired, of course, came out in 2000, and has 77 pieces, two minifigures, not counting those things that they ride, and then um, the build. I'm going to go ahead and count those, whatever those things are that the Gungans ride as part of the build. Two of whatever those are, and then this thing that holds all the bomb-bombs. P.S. I also know that... A lot of people hate Jar Jar Binks, and I'd just like to say I can't disagree with you. In my opinion, the whole reason that that movie did so bad was because of Jar Jar Binks. And, like, it didn't do bad, but, you know, it it was a lot of people's least favorite out of the trilogy. The original, no, not the original trilogy. You know, the prequels. I'm sorry. Even then, we should be talking about Lego. So, I was, originally, I was going to say the Mammalian Falcon 7190. But then I was like, ooh, it has many figures, and for the time, it was pretty good. Not to mention, it was the very first Mammalian Falcon. So, I have to say, I'm going to have to go with um, the um, X-Wing. Came out in 2000 and has uh, 1,304 pieces. Let's see. Does this build... Oh, I hate when they're upside down like this. Does this build have any minifigures? It'll probably be at the very beginning if it does. Uh, nope, no minifigures. Hmm, makes this set a lot less better and wanted. But then the best one was obviously the Trade Federation ATT, in my opinion. But yeah, it ha came with 158 pieces. I mean, it was 158 pieces. I'm not even going to say if they're retired anymore. You guys can read that. Um, then the, it came out in 2000, and it looks like it came with too many figures. And then a very awesome ATT for the year. And A-A-T, not A-T-T. -T. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now this year was... A great year for Lego Star Wars. They were kind of just getting kicked in, but I must say they did every. And, and I must say, even though this was good, this was probably the worst set of two thousand one. 
and it came with 393 pieces. I must say that's still very cool. I, it's just that there are all these other cool ones, and that was definitely the worst out of all of them that year. Now, for the best, it's hard to decide against the Ewok Attack 7139, Jedi Defense 2 7200, or Jedi Defense 1 7203. But I'm going to go ahead and I have to go with Jedi Defense 2 because of the fact that I am practically dead for the original um, security security droids and commander droids that actually look like they're supposed to in the movie because Lego just got lazy on them. But yeah, <laughs> and it came with 52 pieces, three minifigures, in my opinion, the best set of 2001. Now let's move on to 2002. Like last time, a lot of great sets, also a lot of bad sets. So, for worse sets, it's hard to choose between the Django Fett and the Super Battle Droid. But in the end, I'm going to have to go with Django Fett. I'm going to have to go with Django Fett. But yeah, uh, it came with four, no, it, yeah, it came with 429 pieces. To tell you the truth, anyone who bought these things, I just don't get why. I can imagine the pain. Now, no, 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 no. Listen to this. Listen to how hard this is. To choose between the best, I ha am having to choose between the first Republic gunship, the uh, the first, and so far, as far as I'm aware, only Geonosian fighter, the ATTE, not to mention all the other good ones like the T-16 Skyhopper, Jabba's uh, Prize, and Jabba's Message. I mean, like, how am I supposed to choose this? Like, there is just so many. There's some that I didn't even name. But because of the fact that they have LEGO has made more ATTEs and Republic gunships, even though this, this Republic gunship is the only set to come with Jedi Bob, and uh, blue B2 battle droids. I'm going to have to go for the Geonosian fighter. I will probably have the Republic gunship in one of my rarest Lego set videos, like ones that have rare minifigures. But for this one, for in my opinion, the best set of this year, I would much rather have this. With that comes with four minifigures. To tell you the truth, these are probably the best minifigures LEGO made this year. This set came with 169 pieces. I mean, just look at all of these. But in my opinion, I mean, minifigures that were used a lot. Some very rare ones, like ones that are super expensive today. Ones that were used a couple of times. But then there are these droids and the Geonosians, which I'm pretty sure those kinds were only used in that one set. Now, this is going to be a shocker to you all, but in my opinion, the worst set of 2003 was the was the Cloud City set. Now, you might be like, are you crazy? It comes with literally the most expensive Lego that you can get in a set. Well, yes, I know that. I'm actually quite aware of it. <coughs> but if we're being honest, this set is kind of bad. Now, you, you might be like... Okay, yeah, but now it is. But to back then, this set was incredible. You are right. You are right. I should not judge it that low. So instead, we're going to go with the Hailfire Droid. Came with 681 pieces. And that's what it looks like. Looks like a good Hailfire Droid to me. Tell you the truth, is probably about the size of an actual one. I might just, ha ha to tell you the truth, if I was collecting again back in 2003, I would probably have gotten those to use for my Battle of Geonosis mocks. And for the best of this year, to tell you the truth, it's hard to choose between the X-Wing Fighter 4502 or the AT-AT of 4483. But I'm going to go ahead and have to go with the ATTE. It's just so cool. That, and in my opinion, this, uh, the, the, around this time, was the best era for snow troopers. And this set came with 1,064 pieces. So yeah, I'm going to have to end the video here, guys.
don't forget to um uh, look for part two this is probably going to end up having to be a multiple this is probably going to have to end up being a series but yeah i hope you like this video write put your opinion down in the comments and if you know any sets from uh, this uh, time i'm uh, that uh, you like go ahead and put them in the comments and say favorite ones that you dislike but yeah see you all in the next one